Oh, you can't cook without onions, hardly. No, right. Like so. Okay. And then three quarters of a cup of finely chopped celery. Celery. Right. Right there, like so. And we're going to cook 10 to 15 minutes, or until it's tender, and we're going to stir it frequently, which we're doing right now. Mm, that, that smells, smells good. good, doesn't it? Fantastic. I guess you could use uh, other kind of meat, too, if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah. So beef or <laughs> yeah. something like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's now, looking real right. good. Now, while this is cooking in a blender, which is right here, we're going to combine a cup of chicken broth. It's uh, Right mm -hmm. here. Well, let's leave that here because i got another cup right here. We're going to use this. This is too hot. So put this in there like so. Then, we're going to add two cups of canned corn, which is right here. Yeah. You know, corn is very good for you folks. Corn is one of your high fiber foods and uh, it helps, now, uh, you know, uh, aid your digestion. Now we're going to blend on the high speed until smooth. Right. Ginger okay. said be sure to put the lid on it. Oh, so, Ginger, she's yeah. tough. What a mess that would be if you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Not my key. Now, okay. into the cut Dutch oven, we're going to pour the puree corn. Right, there we go. Throw it in there. This looks like corn milkshake. Mmm. You know, when we were kids growing up, John, I don't know about you if you came from a wealthy family, but we were kind of uh, uh, no. kind of poor. And, um, you know, cornmeal mush, did you ever have that? Yeah, now we're going to put the remaining two. He, he's, he's, so, he's so into this recipe, he doesn't want to know what I'm even talking about, do you? Go ahead. Oh, no. You're I, talking about... You no, know, cornmeal mush, you know, mm. that you make, you put a little milk on it. Yeah. Wonderful. How was that? All right. Let's see here. Okay, two cups of yellow that. corn, and we're going to do two cups potatoes. of nice potatoes. And here okay. they are. Snake eyes. Uh, <laughs> now, let's see. Okay, remaining two that. cups of chicken broth, which is right here. Okay. We've got all kinds of things here. And a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Now, during rehearsal, like, well, we won't talk more talk about that. No, but actually, you should just salt the taste, right? You can use as much as you want. Yeah, just plain. Not too much. I don't like it too salty, so. Okay, because it's not good for you too much salt. That's true. You okay. know, it makes you right. swell up. Now, yeah, the remaining two cups of chicken broth, for the same thing, and then we're going to okay. boil over high heat. All right, now we're going to increase And all that simmering for a second, we have a, a second here. I want to ask you something now. You spend a lot of time on on boats. You mm -hmm. love mm -hmm. river boats. Mm -hmm. What kind of cooking do you do there? That well, works. we usually have somebody else that does the cooking, although at one time mm -hmm. uh, I had done a little bit of cooking, and I have... I would say my my main dish on the boat was a vegetable omelet. Oh, that sounds or good. Or what could be loosely called a vegetable omelet. You, know? <laughs> you throw in everything, right? Yeah. Everything is yeah. left over? Yeah. Okay, so you're going to just we're simmer this? simmer or? this and we're partially covered and simmer it for about now, 10 minutes. I see something uh, here, heavy cream, I see. Is I don't it? think we're ready to do that yet. Oh, you're not? Oh, yeah, simmer, I'll throw it in, I think. a little bit more. Yeah, I forget this is television. Well, yeah, we can't really and simmer as long as it right. says, okay. but okay. probably about 15 minutes. Yeah. Simmer it, I would guess. Oh boy. Then, oh boy. Nothing rich about this. No. <laughs> All right, now. A little chopped parsley? We're going to put some chopped parsley in here. Two okay. teaspoons. Now, now I, you're real lucky. I eat a lot of garlic and I didn't eat any today. And you're hunter. Oh, but that yeah. would have been all but right. If you do, if you do eat a lot of garlic. This parsley is real good. I, I did. When I was doing The Sound of Music and I was on tour, my leading man used to love big cigars and garlic. He oh, loved right. Italian food. And on matinee days, you know, he'd be singing, oh. uh, <laughs> I mean, like, oh, not good. And then I had to kiss him besides. Oh, that was rough. All right. Now, we're going to put in, a, we're put in some white pepper. This is an eighth of a, of a teaspoon. So this mm -hmm. is a quarter of a teaspoon. We'll do about a half of it. Okay. That. And my fingers are clean, believe it or not. Yeah, they just been in the peanut jar, yeah, okay. eating a lot of peanuts. All right, and a white pepper. Now we're going to simmer okay. for two to three minutes. And Boy, that looks good. It's pretty, pretty good colorful. Also heat it up just good for you. Here. Oh, yeah. when are we going to put the bacon in? Johnny? Just put it in right about now. Okay. You want to do the honor? Sure, I'd love to. Okay, here it comes. Here, oh, that looks pretty. Getting more and more colorful all the time. <laughs> Okay, so if you want to add more seasoning, you can, or right. less, whatever. If you like spicy, you, you know what might be good? If you put a little Tabasco in there. 
That might just sharpen it. I also blame Palace for that. You know where we're forgetting? What? The Wesson oil. <laughs> <laughs> we never forget Wesson no, oil. It grows out of my Wesson ear. Oil. Yeah, throw a little in there. Okay, while Johnny's putting the Wesson oil in the corn chowder, I'm going to recap this recipe for you. So get ready. Here it comes. You uh, get a Dutch oven, and in there you put your cooked bacon, and you, you cook it until it gets real crisp, and then you take it out, and you drain all by two tablespoons full of the drippings. Then you add chicken breast, chopped onion, and chopped celery. You cook for 10 to 15 minutes, and then in your blender, you combine chicken broth and yellow corn, and you blend until smooth. And then in your Dutch oven, you stir your pureed corn, remaining corn, potatoes, remaining chicken broth, and salt, and then you boil it. You reduce your heat, and you simmer for about 20 minutes. And then you stir in heavy cream, heavy cream, chopped parsley, hard pepper, simmer for two to three minutes, and then you stir in your diced bacon. And you're going to have really some fantastic, fantastic corn chowder. So um, I, I want you to come back because get ready, those two crazy guys, I'm sure you know them.